Ming Lawa, welcome to MITV special program Perspectives. For this week, we have invited our special guest of honor, Sia Uijen, in this studio. Ming Lawa, Sia. Ming Lawa. Thank you for joining us in this show. So, for today's episode, we are going to discuss about the first Republican debate. So, could you kindly inform us about the date of this inaugural debate? Yeah, you know, in America, we are talking about U.S. elections anyway. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, Joe Biden, uh, the incumbent president, is, is unlikely to be, have a challenger from the Democratic Party. In U.S., there are two major parties, Democrats and the Republicans. Democrats are the left people, leftist, left-leaning people, and Republicans are the right wings, the right-leaning people. Because Republicans are the challenger to the Republican uh, potential president will be the challenger, there's a Joe Biden, so they had to select who is going to be the challenger. Obviously, the right now, four times indicted, four times charged, uh, president, ex-president Donald Trump is also one of the challengers. Missing elephant from the first debate is a Donald Trump. He didn't come for the uh, debate, right? So there in the debate, though, it was held on the August 23rd, yeah, it, there was uh, eight uh, candidates, potential candidates uh, in the debate. Uh, we have the uh, Ron DeSantis, who is the uh, governor of Florida. And we have the Chris Christie, who is the uh, ex-governor of New Jersey. Yeah, and we have the uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, who is the uh, business person, like Donald Trump. Right, and we have the Mike Pence, the ex, uh, the previous vice president, uh, below, right below Donald Trump, and we have the Nikki Haley, a former uh, governor of South Carolina and former ambassador, U.S. ambassador to the United Nations under the Trump administration. Yeah, and we have the Tim Scott, he is a South Carolina senator from South Carolina, he is an African American, and we have the Doug Bergen. Not Dakota governor, and we have the uh, Asa Hutchison, who is the former Arkansas governor of Arkansas. So we have all together these eight people, and obviously uh, the 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 leader in the opinion polls, Donald Trump, is he doesn't came he doesn't come for the debate. Mm -hmm. So among these eight candidates, who managed to stand out remarkably? Wow, yeah, obviously, you know, the, 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 because, you know, sometimes in the debate, you have to talk over each other. You have to talk very fast and very competitively. So normally, naturally, the fast talker mm -hmm. tend to prevail. In, in this debate, the, fast, the fastest talker is the youngest guy who nobody really know yet. Is the, he is the Vivek Ramaswamy, right? He is a businessman, a multi-millionaire, right? He, he is a... Uh, Hindu, uh, Indian American. India means the, the Indian from India, uh, the parents. Yeah, so so he he is a he is a very fast talker. Yeah, and he is the standout among the crowd. Stands on the uh, climate change in Ukraine and stands on the uh, whether he will support the uh, indicted Donald Trump if indicted, and stands on saying that Donald Trump uh, is the best president in American history. So that was you know. Uh, his outrageous claims, which is obviously not true, yeah. So the, the because of that, he becomes a sort of a standout, and since he speak pretty fast, so he can so sort of out talk uh, people, but not necessarily he he didn't actually win on facts. Mm -hmm. So among these participants, uh, who were uh, who can be considered as a non-starter? Yeah, the ones that you know, the ones that that is not going to do well in the subsequent debates or who may drop out, right, because of the lower, uh, what is it, opinion polls, feedback, or, you know, especially in the, uh, you know, because the, in the primaries, in the primary mean the one that, primaries are the one that choose the uh, candidate from each party to compete in the election. The, in the primaries, you start with the New Hampshire, and only after New Hampshire, you start with Iowa. So these two, how, how well they score in these two states, extremely important for the subsequent 48 states. Yeah, so they, this will happen like Super Tuesday or before that. Yeah, so, that, so, the, so if you have opinion polls, 
putting you very unfavorably in the either New Hampshire or Iowa, you may you will you will tend to drop out because your donors' money dry up. Nobody wants to donate money to your campaign anymore, so it dry out. So you don't you drop out. That's all. So you know, the people I think that likely to drop out most uh, is a uh, Asa Hutchison. <laughs> you know, he 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 is not he is not well recognized in terms of you know former Arkansas governor. He's not well recognized, so he doesn't have much input at the debate. Yeah, so he may drop out. The other one is unlikely is the uh, Doug Bergen, who is the North Dakota former uh, North Dakota governor. Yeah, he is a good guy. He is a self-made millionaire, also business person. He become the governor. So, but but he is his name is not well recognized. Name recognition is not there for him, also. And plus, the opinion polls rating he is always at the one percent, two percent, very low level. So he is not going to do that well, also. And the other one is a Tim Scott. Tim Scott was previously popular be- before the debate, but in in the debate itself, he doesn't tackle the hard issues. He just talk about himself. He, he just talk about his faith. So you know, he lost his chance to shine at the debate. So I think Tim Scott will be gone as well in the subsequent third debate or so. So, what were the noteworthy issues discussed during the debates, and how did the candidates address it? Yeah, noteworthy issue. The the highlights of the issues, you know, the highlights is you know the the Republican parties and the candidates has become so extreme that you know uh, they 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 so extreme that the 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 stance that they take on the key issues is so different from the majority of the population of the rest of the world. For example. You know, a lot of candidates. None of the candidates steadfastly believe that climate change is man-made, right? All the scientists are saying that oh, climate change is because we burn a lot of fuel, we have a lot of factories, we have a lot of cars. That's why the earth is warming up. That's why the the ice is melting. Yeah, so we make the we make the climate change. we we ourselves cause the climate change, and none of the Republican candidates believe that climate change is man-made. So this is, you know, is contrary to science. Yeah. So that is one notable thing that I noticed. And the other one is, you know, the Trump support. The 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 moderator did ask the candidates, you know, if Trump or right now Trump is being charged in four different jurisdictions, you know, New York, uh, D.C., Florida, and Georgia, he is charged as a criminal. He's a criminal indictment. Yeah. So of course, obviously, he is presumed innocent. Until proven guilty in the court of law, so he is currently innocent, but he has been charged. He got to go to court. So the question by the moderator is: If the Trump were to be found guilty, will you still continue to support uh, ex-president Trump? And other than Christie and Hutchison, everybody raised their hand. So which me guilty me? You are convicted felon. You are criminal. So, which means you know the standard bearers of American people. You are supporting a criminal, or you are leader of the free world. You want you will you would let the leader of the free world or the leader of the most powerful nation in the world to be a criminal, and other than Christie and Hutchison, everybody raised their hand they, that they will support a convicted felon as the president of the United States. That is very very worrying. For not only for us, but for the rest of the world too. Mm-hmm. So these are these are the two key points that I want to highlight in the first debate that concerns uh, the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. So, in your assessment, which candidates experience the most significant setbacks? Uh, the setback, the loser, are actually Ron DeSantis. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, Trump calling Ron <laughs> Ron De sanctimonious. <laughs> right, so so he but he lose out most because you know he. He doesn't answer questions mm-hmm. as well. Well, well, the 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 questions exactly what the moderator asked. The moderator moderator asked, you know, yes or no question. He doesn't answer that. You know, see, so he, you know, you, you are trying to avoid giving a straightforward answer. That's not very good. And plus, you know, when when you know he is not decisive. So when the moderator asks whether you will support a convicted felon as a president of the United States, yeah, as a Republican candidate to fight for the president, like Vivek was the one who raised up his hand first, and plus followed by the rest. And Ron DeSantis was the, he looked at the rest first, and only later when majority of the people raised their hand, he raised his hand. So that is not so 
a presidential, if I would say, a president has his, has to has his own conviction, and he was, uh, he doesn't have that conviction enough, you know. So I think you know the debate uh, also re- the 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 participants and the watchers realize that and suddenly because after the debate, his polling numbers in New Hampshire, Iowa, both fall because of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think eventually you know Ron DeSantis will have to will, will not be the. My opinion will not be nominee for the uh, Republican uh, Party. So, which candidates uh, continue to maintain a strong presence in the political arena? Yeah, I think uh, Pence is still okay because uh, Pence stand out because of the fact that you know he acted against Trump mm-hmm. uh, in in protecting the Constitution of the United States. So that expense is still okay. And then Christie is still okay. You know, Christie has credentials. And right now Christie is, you know, in the New Hampshire, the first voting state. He is second in the poll after Trump, or even though they are quite far off. But the fact is, you see, if the Trump is found guilty, he cannot be the president. Mm-hmm. Right? He is going to be charged in court. Two or trials that's going to come before the Super Tuesday in March. So in, in these trials that are continuing, if he is found guilty, he cannot join. So the second place person being a very important, who that will, he will be the nominee, you know Christie. Uh, although he was booed a lot because he was very he speak against the Trump Trump a lot, so he was uh, currently second in New Hampshire. Yeah, he has overtaken the DeSantis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that that so Pence will be there. Christie will stay there. Nikki Haley, uh, she was a uh, ex uh, South Carolina governor, uh, and the. Uh, UN ambassador, so her foreign, foreign, uh, what is it? Foreign uh, policy credentials are very good. That's why when she spurred with uh, Vivek on the foreign current, the foreign policy, she won. And Vivek, uh, she she can, she sort of shows that Vivek has uh, very little foreign policy experience and credentials mm-hmm. in in the way that he speak. Yeah, so Nikki Haley will be there. Vivek obviously will be there. Vivek is here. Uh, a lot of pundits are predicting that Vivek want to be the uh, vice president to Trump. Mm. Yeah, but I don't think uh, Trump will select uh, Vivek. And the last one, uh, Ron DeSantis, obviously, uh, I don't think he will drop out before the next poll. He will probably drop out after the third or whatever, but he will still be there. Mm. Yeah. So. Please let us know your opinion on the potential development in the aftermath of this debate. Yeah, obviously, as I said, the people who lost out, you know, uh, actually, the, uh, Tim Scott lose out most, yeah, because he didn't show off his uh, presidential uh, potential. And plus, Asa and Asa Hutchinson and Doug Bergen, they are, uh, you know, not well known. So this, this three will obviously be, I think, it will be out. So the next debate, is on the 27th of September. It's happening in California. So we have to watch and to see what continues to happen. And plus, there will be the third debate. Then after that, in January, they will be pulling in uh, uh, New Hampshire, followed by Iowa in February. And you have the, a lot of states doing out uh, at one time, pulling Super Tuesday, that was in mm. March. That's very interesting, and thank you for sharing your knowledge on this issue. And once again, thank you for joining us in this show. You have been watching MITV special program, Perspectives. Thanks for being with us.